Well, the goal of MMS uh, at its core is to get it the process of what we call reconnection. And uh, this is a phenomenon that uh, has very, very detailed physics of what's going on. And so you want your measurements to be just as accurate as possible so that you can actually get at the details and really make decisions about is this theory correct or is that theory correct. And if you don't have that level of accuracy, uh, then it becomes gray. Well, they might both be uh, correct, and that's not the science we're after. We want to do good measurements. And so we have these various cross calibrations between different instruments so that we have those precise measurements. Well, it goes uh, back quite a long ways to even when I was an undergraduate at, at UC Berkeley. I started working with a guy named Forrest Moser, who just happened to turn out to be a very well-known space scientist in the field. And, uh, I said, yeah, can we do a project of some kind for my senior thesis? And he said, well, come on up to the lab. And so I started working with him, and then he sort of handed me off to one of the scientists in uh, his group. And I found out I really liked doing this stuff. That's what actually motivated me to go to graduate school. Uh, and so I started talking with Forrest about, well, where do you think I ought to go? And uh, he handed me off to a uh, or recommended me, I should say, to a guy named Roy Torbert, who's uh, one of the leads on the MMS project. And uh, I went to graduate school down at UC San Diego, where he was, and we started doing sounding rocket stuff and working on hardware. So that's how I got into the business of actually building hardware with my own two hands that we would launch on a sounding rocket or a suborbital rocket that would go up and uh, actually make measurements myself. And I've pretty much been doing it ever since. The first thing I, I tell almost any student is keep studying math. Uh, for science, you need mathematics, be whatever you uh, decide to do, be it biology or chemistry, or these days, even if you're going to do business or, or other fields. Uh, so stick with the mathematics. But that's not the answer most people want to say uh, here, uh, although it's true. But mostly what I would say is, um, Go find things that interest you. You know, get your hands dirty doing stuff at being at the taking auto shop or wood shop or something like that. Um, or you know, uh, actually, when I was uh, in high school and junior high, I, I was part of a 4-H group that studied electronics. So we would build various things and experiments and things like that. Uh, talk to your high school teachers. You know, they have various labs and things that they're doing. Find out if maybe you can help do those kinds of things. It's a good way to to see if that's really what you like to do, and then also get some experience at the same time.